Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Now in this video we are going to learn about how uh, we can draw an isometric view in AutoCAD. Now in order to draw an isometric view, uh, basically we need to draw a long isometric axis which are at 120 degree from each other. Now, uh, so uh, to explain this thing more properly, I'll have to turn on the grid. So this is our normal view that we uh, use for a normal two dimensional uh, drawing. Now, if you want to draw isometric images, you will have to turn this ISO draft on. So you will have to uh, turn basically this on from taskbar. Now there are three different options, isoplane left, isoplane top and isoplane right. Now, so select a line and uh, suppose that I'm starting uh, from origin. So first point I'm starting as 0, 0, and I am using isoplane left. So basically isoplane left uh, is a plane, turn the polar tracking off on. Now isoplane left uh, is used for drawing the left side view that uh, we can create. So suppose that I'm creating a cube of 50 comma, 50 uh, basically uh, on left side. So let's take it as 50 and join it with the origin. Now we have created the left side. So just take a look. I'm turning the grid off. So you have created the left side of uh, a cube. Okay. Now if you want to uh, draw the right side, you will have to shift isoplane right and then select line. Now turn on the grid. So just take a look. If isoplane left is there, uh, take a look at the alignment of these grid lines. And if we switch to the isoplane right, the alignment will change. Okay. So let's select and draw these lines 50 and vertical as well 50 and then join. Now, if we want to draw the top side, so we'll switch to isoplane top and then we will draw this line like this. So basically in every single case your alignment of the grid it will change. So this is the cube that uh, we have created here. Now if I turn off the grid it will not make any difference. Uh, we will be able to see that uh, this grid that we have created uh, basically this drawing that we have created we can draw this in normal view as well. Okay. So uh, if we turn off the isoplane and if you want to draw the same we will be able to draw uh, the image. So just take a look. Now I'm specifying uh, this point as the starting point. I'm just taking it randomly and uh, let's draw at 30 degrees. Okay, so 50, then vertically upwards, I'll be using 50. Then in this side, uh, basically at this 210 degree angle. So what I'm going to uh, do is I'm just creating another cube here. And it's done. Now this time the isoplane was uh, not there. Isoplane uh, was not selected. Now turn off the grid and take a look at both of these cubes. So these cubes they are of same size. Now let's uh, basically they are of same shape. Okay. Now let's select these uh, dimensions. This one. Repeat them. Start from this. Go till this. And take a look. So basically both of these cubes they are identical and first one we have drawn using isoplanes and second one without isoplanes. So I'm deleting these dimensions. Now the main problem that we are going to face in drawing isometric images is in uh, curves or circles. So if you are drawing a circle in isometric view basically the circle uh, should look like an ellipse. Okay, so that is something that uh, we uh, cannot do or it's almost impossible to do without uh, isoplanes. Okay, so to draw a circle, we'll have to uh, turn this isoplane on, uh, turn on the grid and turn isoplane on. Now suppose that I want to draw a circle on the right side. So I'll have to select isoplane right and then I'll go to elliptical arc. 
and in this one you will find an option of ISO circle ISO circle now we will have to specify the center so I am uh, just randomly specifying any center and take a look this is how I have specified this particular uh, portion so you will have to specify a starting and ending angle so this is how you can draw on the right side so if you want to switch to left iso uh, left side you will have to select isoplane left then select elliptical arc select iso circle specify a starting point and then like this and uh, starting angle and ending angle and this is how you can draw on the right side and again in order to shift you will have to go to isoplane top so basically this shifting you can do it by using f5 key once uh, isodraft is on now what will happen if uh, our isoplane is not correct so suppose that if i try to draw isoplane right okay so just take the midpoint repeat line take the midpoint so that i can explain you now i have selected isoplane right and i want to draw the iso circle or uh, circle in the isometric mode so this is the center and take a look this orientation this is not suitable to this particular face okay so what will happen if i shift it if uh, i shift this particular uh, isoplane now this is isoplane left and this is isoplane top so just take a look i'm able to draw it properly okay so drawing uh, isometric drawing is almost impossible without uh, using isoplanes so this is how we can draw an isoplane now suppose that if i want to place a cone on this particular uh, cube so what i'm going to do is select a line start from its center and specify a height so suppose that i want to place a cone of height 50 okay so i have got the highest point now in order to draw a cone on this side with make sure that from o snap tangent is selected okay so if tangent is selected you will get uh, this uh, tangent sign this one okay so select this side now then done repeat the line start line from this particular point and again click on tangent and click enter and we can trim the non required portion from here so as simple as that so this is how we can draw isometric curves and images using isoplane okay so uh, just turn off the grid and you will see this is how we can create an isometric drawing so that's all for today guys thank you very much and have a nice day